Even if you're not a spiritual person, the architecture inside Mandir and its grandeur alone are reason enough to come and visit this place. There is a misconception that all police departments have a full-time sketch artist like Miss Gibson, when in fact there are actually less than 30 sketch artists around the nation. Gonzo 247 has been making waves in Houston for so many years and he's now getting some well-deserved recognition. He's here with me today. Gonzo, how are you feeling? If you come to the Wall Bridge during daylight, you can expect to see a couple of things. Uh, the first thing is, you can see actually trails and trails of what looks like mud, but this is actually guano, bad poop. The city of Houston is putting the pedal to the metal with this bike sharing system in hopes to make Houstonians more physically active. You said no drinking on the job, but I've actually found a way around it. We're here at St. Arnold Brewery, considered the oldest craft beer brewery in Texas. Ping pong is actually more difficult than what it looks like. It requires a lot of concentration and of course speed. Um, I really have no dance skills whatsoever, but could you just show me just for a little bit of one simple move that yes, I could practice? Of Everybody can do this dance and I'm gonna prove it to you right now because okay. you're gonna do it really good. Okay, ready? So you're gonna go ahead and put your hands on your hips like this. Yeah, uh -huh. can you do that? Yes. And you're gonna use your knees to lift the hips, bend and straighten. Just <laughs> the Buffalo Bayou is a huge body of water. It's over 50 miles long. It begins in Katy and stretches all the way to the Port of Houston. The idea is to create small different parks, interlock them, and finally create a walking destination in the Bayou City. Louis Gibson has delivered justice for more than 30 years. And one day it just hit me. I could help them instead of them standing there with the detective saying, he's five foot 10, brown hair, brown eyes. That's everybody in town. With the stroke of her pastels, she has put away more than 1,200 criminals as a member of the Houston Police Department's Forensic Task Force. But I wouldn't quit, and every third time I did a sketch would solve the crime. Making her the Guinness Book of World Records most successful forensic sketch artist. A victim of a violent crime herself, Gibson turned tragedy into triumph. He was a garden variety serial, serial rapist killer, and he took 25 minutes choking me almost to death, but I survived. Becoming a pioneer in her field, but leaving her with the responsibility of keeping alive the art of forensic sketching. There is a misconception that all police departments have a full-time sketch artist like Ms. Gibson, when in fact there are actually less than 30 sketch artists around the nation. That's according to Gibson. In response, she hopes to pass down her crime-fighting skills to the next generation of forensic sketch artists. Most city and states have no forensic artists. I'm trying to spread the forensic art profession as much as I can before I die. Gibson cites that sketch artists account for 30% of all arrests, while fingerprints help solve only 10% of all crimes a need that's instrumental to bringing justice. I know that people want justice so bad they can hardly live without it. In your hand that draws, you can stop a murderer. In okay. North Houston, Henry Yao, 713 News. I would say don't freak out. <laughs> Urban wildlife biologist Diana Foss is on a mission to educate people about bats. They have very flexible wings, so they're able to fly in kind of an erratic pattern, and that kind of scares people a little bit. It's estimated that 300,000 Mexican free-tail bats make the Wall Bridge their home. The bridge has been a point of interest since bats were first discovered there more than 20 years ago, making it the ideal place for shelter and protection. Well, if you come to the Wall Bridge during daylight, you can expect to see a couple of things. Uh, the first thing is, you can see actually trails and trails of what looks like mud, but this is actually guano, bat poop. Um, you can also, well, these are actually coming from the crevices that are up here, and this is where the bats are actually hiding. And you can see um, these little stains, it's actually um, urine um, left from the bats. There are a couple other things that you can expect uh, to hear, like uh, you can hear a lot of chirping sounds, and there's definitely this very, very strong uh, pungent smell that most people describe as corn tortillas, but I actually personally describe it as newborn puppies. But at sunset, it's when the action happens. And then somebody in the group says go, and they start flying out of the bridge, uh, usually flying along the bayou first. The bats fly out from underneath to feast on two and a half tons of insects. A swarm of bats, that's quite a spectacle. 
Um, no, they don't scare me. Just it'd be cool to see a bunch of them together. We see them flying around sometimes, but just kind of wanted to come check it out and see where they actually come out from. They stick around year round, so you can catch the spectacle nearly every night, except when it gets really cold. They're not out to bite us. They're not out to scare us. So we just need to stay calm, let the bats fly around. They're doing us a big favor because they're eating all those insects. In the Montrose area, Henry Yao, 713 News. Cindy, the city of Houston is putting the pedal to the metal with this bike sharing system in hopes to make Houstonians more physically active and to think green. It's a concept that's growing very rapidly right now. Getting around downtown Houston has become a breeze. The city has implemented a bike sharing program that allows you to ride on two wheels for a small fee. It provides people the opportunity to go green while they're trans, you know, getting around town, but it also gives them an opportunity to get a little exercise. Checking out a bike is easy. To check out a bike, you simply walk up to the station, you wake it up, you wake the dock up, you hold the card over the dock, and that's it pay at the machine, or buy a membership card online beforehand. And then off you go. This bike sharing program is treading on new ground. We will have an additional 21 stations on the ground and spanning from downtown all the way down to the zoo. Have a blowout of a time as there are no restrictions to where you can ride your bike to so long as you take it back. In downtown Houston, Henry Yao, 713 News. Like an opening scene of a magnificent epic movie adventure, the Sri Swami Narayan Mandir appears in all of its glory right in the middle of suburban Stafford. It's somewhat of a surprise to individuals that we have such a great thing here in Houston, and is they're just astonished. And many people express the same feeling, that they feel that they are not in Houston, they are in India. For Hindus, Mandir stands as a place of worship. Prayer is a food for mind, and that is very critically important for real happiness that we need to enjoy. Well, and even if you're not a spiritual person, the architecture inside Mandir and its grandeur alone are reason enough to come and visit this place. More than 30,000 pieces of Turkish limestone and Italian marble hand carved in India adorn was based on a 5,000-year-old design. It took just a little over a year to bring all the pieces together with no steel involved. For them, it's something out of the world. People from all walks of life are welcome here to find inner peace. Most of the time, they just come by curiosity, right, to see the place, but they live with an experience which brings them back. In Stafford, Henry Yao, 713 News. I feel great, like, singing in different language. Ariel Longoria is barely in middle school. Yet, this 11-year-old can sing in four different languages through mariachi. Music is a universal language, so we try to connect with them in that way. Jose Longoria is Ariel's father. He's also the musical director of Mariachi Imperial de America. Longoria and his band members, composed of his son, students, even a banker and an engineer, are pioneering an evolution in music right here in Houston. Their take to infuse popular songs from other cultures with mariachi. <laughs> Their first attempt at Chinese songs occurred when they were invited to perform at the Mexican Embassy in Beijing. To do this, Longoria dined at a lot of Chinese restaurants. And I asked the waiter, hey, what is like the most famous song in China? And they kind of walked me through, hey, you say it like this in the pronunciation. And by listening over and over, they hit a high note blending Chinese classics like Teresa Tang's The Moon Represents My Heart with a mariachi rendition. When you hear a song, you're like, ah, okay. Let's have you try that, ready? <laughs> 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 
Today, Mariachi Imperial has become a staple in the Chinese community, performing every year at the Lunar New Year celebration, and they continue to reach a wide audience by singing in other languages. I listen to a song, and it could be any song from any language in any genre, and I can feel that song and where it comes from, and it relates to me. My dad sometimes let me do some singing different languages, and he does let me, and I do it around the world. Ay, 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 canta y no llores, porque cantando se alegran cielito lindo los corazones. His turn, ready? Ay, ay, ay! <laughs> In Pasadena, Texas, Henry Yao, 713 News.